Hello, this is the Prog Rocker 66. I've been getting a lot of messages asking for a tutorial on the editing software I use. I use something called Cinema 4D. It's right here. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make a very basic intro. It's loading up right there. It may take about 30 seconds. Just bear with me. Alright, loading cg.dll. Alright. Alright, there we go. This is not a free program, but you can probably get it free somewhere. I bought it off Amazon for a discount. Alright, now, first thing you want to do, hold down the mouse to click on this. It's a little squiggly-like thing. I've seen plenty of tutorials on this, and they're very fast and hard to understand. So first thing, hold down the mouse button until this comes up. Third column, third to the bottom. It's called text, has a little letter A to it. Click on that, this will show up. See this circular one with the dot in the middle? This is what spins it up and down, left, whatever, all the directions. And this one right here, the one for this to the left, another dot in the middle, but with like four points. It makes it go up, down, left, right. This one's more like this, this one's like this. This one makes you go closer and further. I'm not sure what that one really well I know what it does but don't click it it's kind of pointless so for the sake of this video I'm gonna make this called tutorial uh, tutorial I cannot type to tutorial alright there we go now you wanna do that type tutorial right there where it says text right you have to click on object just in case it's not there highlight that click on font and choose the font you want let's see I'm just gonna go with the random one centaur and I'll go with bold now you know it looks better regular okay here it is centaur that's the text we're gonna be using now next you click on this little box like thing it's a little green like sphere inside of a 3d box type thing hold down the clicker again and click on the run the one in the top right called extrude nerves now this now click on text hold it down don't just like click and let go hold it down and bring it up till the arrows pointing down like it is right now and then let go that will give it a 3d effect now if you click on extrude nerves again click on object and this one next to movement it says 20 meters changes to about 50 to make it look little more 3D and this right here is a rendering option this makes it so you can see how it looks I'll get more into detail with more of this kind of stuff at a later time but this is all you really need so far next you can just to get this out of the way click on these four arrows with a white light kind of thing in the middle go to the third column and the second one down camera click on that now you can see that you're not the camera the camera's just in that range to change that so that your screen what you're looking at is the camera you go down right here it says cameras click on this the top one says seeing cameras there'll be a little arrow click on camera now you're the camera so you control this okay now you want to add some text effect I'm sure and you want to add some color what is what I mean so click double click right here and then this will come up we'll say Matt double click that this will come up now you want to double click here you can get different colors by going like this see that yellows I think I'm gonna make it like darkish yellow luminance you might want to add some of that illuminate it red cool looking color in between reflection you might want to give it some now that's it render it again see how it looks that looks good to me okay next you wanna go over here maybe give it some lighting effect this is not necessary but it makes it really cool looking you can get it to look really cool you, it might not look like anything right now but you click that that looks pretty tight you might wanna go like this render it again look at that it's pretty cool add one more there we go that's fine alright next you'll see down here bottom right 
not bottom right, but you'll see the number looks like a number line almost. And then underneath it will be this. So you want to click on that. Let's go with a nice even number, 200. All right, you click that, and then just click there. Now grab this little thing right there and drag it all the way here. Okay, now we got that out of the way. Now we have to click on camera right there, and now we have the camera again. Now remember, this is basic t tutorial. I'm not going to go into much detail. So now we want to make the animation, right? To make the text look like it's moving. Well, first thing, since you clicked on camera, you can go like this. Let's click here, right here, the little key thing that's keyframes. Drag this to about 20. Now let's just like go ahead and scroll in over here. Drag this to, I don't know, 50. Let's scroll out again. Drag this to about 20. Now you don't have to do this exactly. You can do any animation you want. It's your choice. Go back. Go back into the L. Drag this to maybe 110. Come back out. Go really high. Go like this. Drag this to like 20. You'll see all these lines over here. That just shows the movement. Come over here. See those lines and stuff? That just shows what it's doing. Drag to like 160. Now go really far out. Drag this to 170 and go really far in and drag that the rest of the way. You don't have to make it 200. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter. Now that's done. Click the. You'll see the arrows. Click the one furthest to left. Just click it. Now you can watch your animation by hitting play. Watch. It's going to go into the T out. Go into the L out. Look at it. Then go. Shh. That's the end. Okay. Here, let's just cut it off at around 170. All right, let's bring this to 170 just to get it correct. Ooh, what I hit 170 is what I meant. <laughs> so let me look at 170. Now let's just watch it again. Make sure it's not glitched or anything. I'll get into more detail on floors and stuff. See, that's it. That's uh, animation. Now you want to go to here you want if you want it to be in HD make sure you watch this part change the width to 1280 the height to 720 and this to HD TV right there and now you want to start from frame 1 to the last frame you use which would be 170 so from 1 to 170 that might not be your case. You might have 300 frames, so I have to do from 1 to 300. Now go to save. You want to change this to AVI movie. Make sure it's at AVI movie or QuickTime movie. AVI w seems to work better with me, so I choose AVI. Now you can save it anywhere you want. I like to save it to my desktop. I'm going to save it as tutorial intro slash editing. Okay, now I'm going to save it. File name is not Val. Mm. Alright, whatever, it really doesn't matter what it's called. You know what, I'm just gonna intro, tutorial intro. Okay, save. Now we want to click here, just click it real quick. Now it's gonna render. I'm gonna c cut right past this part real quick. I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm back. And it's done rendering. Okay. Once it's done rendering, you can go back here, and now you hit save again. I'm going to just do it twice to make sure it works. Now you can hit there, just minimize this, and type it in tutorial intro. Alright, I'm going to drag that out, and I'll put it right over here. I'm going to watch it. Tutorial. Alright, that's it. Okay. Now... I, if you want to know how to get it into HD, I like Windows Movie Maker. If you have a Mac, oh, that sucks for you. Alright, so I just drag it in there. Tutorial intro, drag media here. Just add some random sound. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you don't even need sound. There we go. It's all cool and stuff. Okay, that's it. Now, 
click either this publish to this computer or publish movie. I, I'll just click that. It's easy. Click next. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name it. You know, intro by me. All right. Save it to videos. Go to more settings. Click on the Windows Media HD 720p. This one right there. Nothing else. Do not click this one. This one's stupid. That one's stupid. Right here. Publish it. It shouldn't take that long. It should take maybe a minute max. Two minutes if your computer sucks. But it takes me about 20 seconds. Alright, now that's done. That's pretty easy. Alright. Intro. Intro by what I do. Hmm. Alright, let me just redo this real quick. My bad, I don't even know where I wrote. Hi, my intro. I don't even. It doesn't really matter what you write. 720. Usually I watch it. I'm not sure why I didn't. I guess that might be why. It doesn't matter though. It takes like no time at all. Okay, finish. Let's watch it. Hi, my intro. Copy this. New. No. Ah, uh, my phone. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Here, I'm gonna just probably cut this part out. Okay, I cut out the phone. That was about 20 minutes actually, but I just shortened it down. Now just paste it into here, and now you can watch it. This is in HD. HD, all nice and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty. That's a short little intro. You can make it sh longer. I'll have a more detailed version of this in the future. All right. Go to your home page. You can go ahead and upload it if you want. I'm not going to upload it. I'm just going to show you what to do. But desktop, where it is, it's somewhere over here. Intro by me. Now you just would upload it. Make it whatever you want. Upload video. And that's it. All right. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.